We are. We about to unleash. We about to give the truth to the old school, middle age. We about to unleash. Hey, family and friends, listen, there has been a lot of people that said Trump don't know God. Trump is not saved. Trump said that he don't operate in faith and that he don't operate in forgiveness. There's been a lot of talk about Trump. Don't know God, all these things that he has done, but I beg to differ. I have a video that I'm getting ready to show you, and I want y'all to watch these clips very close. Trump has been the only president that I know that have openly professed his faith the way that he does. He gives God all of the credit. He tells us that God is to be worshiped, not the government. This is why the enemy is on him like the enemy was on Jesus Christ. What we are experiencing today is a new white version of Martin Luther King. He stands for God. He stands for the things of God. And let me tell you something. This is the reason why they are attacking him. As if the 80-something million dollars wasn't enough that he paid out. Do you know one of the black women, and I'm not going to say her name, right? No, I'm going to say her name. I think it's Joy Reid or Joe Reid or Joy Reid whatever she got upset and said listen Trump didn't pay it out over five million dollars over 83 million dollars and she said oh and that wasn't enough to keep his mouth shut why do y'all want him to keep his mouth shut because let me tell you something the more I hear Trump talk the more he reveals about the evil in the government see listen they didn't tell y'all but Trump was actually getting ready to put away this amendment it was called like the the Johnson's amendment and this amendment is what was in the organization of 501c3 it tells those who own 501c3 that you really taking away your freedom of speech that you can't endorse politics you can't talk about politics and this come from an amendment that was written by a senator over over 70 years ago and he was going to overturn that this is a reason why these higher powers are trying to assassinate i'm gonna say this unalive this man y'all better open up your eyes i'm getting ready to show y'all these clips and y'all can skip to it, come back, whatever. But I'm getting ready to show y'all. This man professes his faith so much that every devil in hell is angry, is shaking, and saying, no, by any means necessary, get him out of here. But we must stand with Trump 2024 because Trump is standing for the principles in the kingdom of our God, our true Lord and Savior. He acknowledges Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. Y'all watch this video. Do not be fooled. I'm going to give you all these highlights. Do you hear me? Make sure you like, subscribe, and make sure you share because that's money for us. Getting the right information across these doggone um, social media accounts to let people know the real Trump. Not the one that the media is trying to show you. And listen, they're trying to censor everything. They're saying black folks don't vote for Trump. No, they're lying. We're going to get together, God's girls and God's guys. We're going to represent our merch. It's going to say Trump 2024. Four, and it's going to say God's world and God's God and we're going to create this noise in this community because we going to have his back. We're not going to do like the folks did in Jesus time when they left him out there to die all by himself. Listen, I know he had to go through it. I know he didn't want to go through it. There was even a point when Jesus said he didn't want to go through it. Even Trump says, I am the chosen one. And let me tell you something. The Bible says many are called but few are chosen. You got to understand something. Many are called but few are chosen. This is not an easy run for Trump. This is very dangerous, but if God be for him, who can be against him? And it is our duty for us to lift him up in prayer because the Bible says the prayers of the righteous avail of much. This is not just an attack on Trump. This is an attack on the kingdom of God, his children. Because God says, let thy will be done in the earth realm as it is in heaven. So this is not just an, a personal attack on Trump. This is, a, uh, this is an attack on the kingdom of God, on his children in this earth. Because we are called to be the hands and feet of Jesus. We are called to overthrow the power of darkness while we are here. Listen, you got to know who you are and you got to know who you are. Again, y'all make sure y'all check out my information. Y'all check out my merch. Y'all share this video and look at these clips that are coming in because they are coming in. God bless you. This is your sister Trigger Preacher, also known as God's Girls. I love you. I love you. I love you. And stand with Trump in 2024. God bless. Is more famous, I said, Jesus Christ. We don't want to see God forced out of the public square.
driven out of our schools. My second favorite book of all time. What's my first favorite book? The Bible. The Bible is special. The Bible, the more you see it, the more you read it, the more incredible it is. I brought my Bible. An Old Testament guy or a New Testament guy? Uh, probably equal. Proverbs, the chapter, never bend to envy. I've had that thing all of my life where you're, people are bending to envy. I'm Protestant, I'm Presbyterian, which means something. Maybe he's not as perfect on the Bible, but I did go to Sunday school for many years. I want to In tell America, you. In America, we don't worship government, we worship God. Somebody said to me the other day, you're the most famous person in the world by far. I said, no, I'm not. Who's more famous? I said, Jesus Christ. We want all children to have the opportunity to know the blessings of God. Somebody had to do it. I am the chosen one. In America, we don't worship government. We worship God. I stand before you in this arena only by the grace of Almighty God. In the very First Amendment, in the Bill of Rights. The American founders invoked our Creator four times in the Declaration of Independence. Benjamin Franklin reminded his colleagues at the Constitutional Convention to begin by bowing their heads in prayer. We don't want to see God forced out of the public square, driven out of our schools, or pushed out of our civic life. We want to see prayers before football games if they want to give prayers. We want all children to have the opportunity to know the blessings of God. We will not allow the government to censor sermons, to restrict the free speech of our pastors and our preachers and the people that we most respect. I just signed an executive order following, and this is something that makes me very happy and very proud, following through on my campaign pledge to stop the Johnson Amendment from interfering with your First Amendment rights. Trigger Preacher, also known as God's Girls, make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video everywhere. God's Girls all over the world. Trigger Preacher, also known as God's Girls, make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video everywhere. God's Girls all over the world.